and I don't think this is the way it's going to go, but because he didn't have a good year, there's one way that this could go where he decides I'm going to give it one more year in Seattle and try to try to kind of rebuild things a little bit, have a healthy season, have better performance. Or he could say the clock continues to tick louder and louder and louder. I've only got so many more opportunities left to build my legacy. He wants to be iconic. He said that earlier yeah, this year. He wants right. to be legendary. I, I think the Saints become – his preferred destination by far because Sean Payton can do with him what he did with Drew Brees. Yeah, and sure. Russell Wilson is arriving later yeah. than Brees did, but I think that that that, that unlocks the ability, say, you know, similar size and, and not, not a guy that's going to be running the ball all over the place, a guy who's going to be shifting and moving around in the pocket, no. looking for throwing lanes, not throwing a lot of stuff over the middle, making the operating offense underneath, but also the ability to crank it deep, yeah. assuming it is the finger right. and the ability to crank it deep yeah. comes back. Yeah. So I, I, I think that that's to me, because we, we, you know, we, we had some fun earlier this year by saying, send him to Cleveland and he'd be an upgrade over Baker Mayfield. But right now I, I feel like he needs to go to a place where he's going to get a PhD in offense. And he's been, he's been kind of sputtering around with a GED in Seattle for the past decade, it's time for him to accelerate his learning if he truly wants to be as effective as he intends to be and yeah. hopes to be deep into his 30s. No, I mean, something's got to change. I mean, again, you know, I, I know we've heard a lot of things. He's used a lot of language, like you said, iconic. I know too many people around the situation to know that, yeah, you know, again, going back to off season, it wants he wants it to be about him. He wants to let it fly and be in that – you know, Kansas City, Josh Allen type offense the last few years that we've seen where everything goes through the quarterback and their talents. Yeah, it's not going to happen in Seattle. Not with this current regime there. I mean, plain and simple. Again, Russell Wilson's missing throws. We know that. There's no doubt. But again, look at the throws we're missing too sometimes. That's the other thing too. It's always, hey, a guy's running straight again, Mike. How, how, I always make right. fun of Seattle. Hey, you run straight, you run straight, and you run straight down the middle. It's a good play. Oh, yeah, okay, great, coach, because nobody else has seen us do that. Right, yeah, this is the fifth time this game. There's lack of imagination there, too. You know, all of that. Again, we get into halftime. It's 3-3. Three to three. DK Metcalfs barely touched the football. They're running the ball into a pile of defenders every time. It's just – I don't know how he could take it. I, I understand him wanting out or a regime change at this point. I do. Yeah, the clock is ticking, like you said. And, you know, again, that was another game last night where, you know, it's just – it's like let's just keep it close so Russell can make magic late in the football game. And I know he missed some opportunities, but, man, the way they play doesn't lend itself to him ever getting in a rhythm or really, you know, feeling good about throwing the football – you know, because it's just so spotty the way they call their offensive plays, and that's where it's tough for him. That's where I have a hard time thinking he stays there and it stays the same. No way. Stays there and things change. Okay. Or he leaves and goes somewhere new, like you said, and gets that PhD. Tyler Lockett wasn't available last night because of COVID. One of the ironies of a two-day delay that makes Can it harder that? for the team that right. that – that wanted to go and was yeah, ready to that go. Was healthy. And, and the Seahawks have traditionally been okay when it comes to they it's been incredible. It it's caused some people to be suspicious about what's going on with the testing in Seattle that there's so few cases. But and, and there there's no evidence to back that up. It's just like how in the hell are they doing this when everybody else is struggling with right. it? DK Metcalf ended up with twelve targets, six catches for fifty two yards. You need a better than fifty percent right. rate, I right. think. You know? Uh but it's good that he got twelve targets. Yeah. Um but but uh, you got you got to connect more often than that. And again, run straight. And he ran by Jalen Ramsey. But Russell Wilson he did not no get doubt. it to him. No and, doubt. And you know, Chris, you mentioned one last point. And then we got to we got to give the Rams some praise because they, they deserve it after what they did last night. You mentioned, and we talk about this from time to time, the offense running through Wilson like it does with Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Yeah. Those guys both have the wheels. I know to to to, right. to make it the full experience. Right. So I, I really do think New Orleans is the only place where Russell Wilson is going to get to where he needs to be as a legend and an icon. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. That's the place where he's going to have the best chance because you plug him into that offense and here we go. 
And uh, I, I think that, that uh, you know, maybe Sean Payton's just kind of quietly rubbing his hands together, thinking that uh, I'm not going to have to give up three first-round picks to get him. Now, they may have to work some salary cap magic, but Mickey Loomis always seems to find a way to do it. Yeah. But 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 that's that's the team you got on your radar. That's, that's the, the one that makes in. the most sense to me. They're in the league. That's the where Russell yeah. R- R- Russell Wilson and Drew Brees need to have a conversation. And I think at the end of the conversation, Russell Wilson will know. I think that's the place where I unlock the next level of my career as a passer, and I can operate that offense, and I can have the kind of success that I want to have, and I can have a shot at getting to another Super Bowl. Hell, forget about getting to a Super Bowl. I can get to a conference championship game. Yeah, Hasn't been there right. since 2014. Right. So I can't see him wanting to stick around. He wanted out after a 12-4 and four season. Yeah. Do you think he's going to want to stay after what at best is going to be 8-9? and nine? I don't think so. I- Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.